Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's a bins day. It's a lovely Friday morning here in Northern California. I dropped my son at school at 7.50. The bins doesn't open until 9. So um, I'm going to take a quick little walk through this lovely neighborhood. And then we're going to go to the bins where I dig through giant blue bins of Goodwill clothing. And I pay $3.49 a pound to resell that stuff on eBay and Poshmark. It's usually a lot of fun, a lot of work, and hopefully I'll find some great items to show you. All right, let's do my first cart check-in. This is, they haven't done any rotations yet. This is just from this morning. I found this really pretty wreath I think I can use for my door. It's a little bit more fall than the one I have on there now, which is like a spring one. I'm gonna pull out this huge Ikea bag. There's my Johnny was in there. And I'm going to sort into like a, stuff I'm definitely taking. And then I'll do a maybe pile up here. Here's my bullet coffee. All right, so this bin is over here in the hard goods for reasons I don't understand. And there's a ton of good like men's button down shirts, okay? But I just don't like dealing with men's button-down shirts. Oh my god, what the heck is this? <laughs> Maternity accents. It's all stained. That is hilarious though, right? A little cat shirt. Anyway, there's tons of them and they're nice, but I steam them. I have to, I don't know, I just don't enjoy it. Do you guys have stuff like that where it's like, you know, you know you could probably make some money on it, but... It'll probably sit for you for a while because you don't prioritize listing it. That's just how it is with me with men's button downs and shoes. I've got a bit of a problem with shoes too where... Oh! All right, I gotta stop because she's gonna rotate. But I did just find these Patagonia swing shorts in here, size 33. Nice, nice, nice. Don't wanna get yelled at, so I'm gonna walk over to my cart. All right, this goes on the list of very sad finds. This is Tory Burch, it's a size large. Now, the clothes don't do as well for me as like these shoes, let's say, but still, it's a designer. This is a gorgeous, long sweater. All this branding would help it to sell, but it's got holes in it. I might be cashmere or wool. One, another one on the chest. Like one hole I might consider. Here's my huge maybe pile, but I'll, you know what I'll do is just check comps and see, is it even worth selling it flawed? Probably not. This, okay, so I'm still sorting through. All right, so I'm very careful about buying jackets and heavy things because it's $3.49 a pound here, which is too much, but I thought this was a really nice modern piece and a good size. Super nice fleece. It's mountain hardware, but then I look, it's new with tag for $150 in a men's size XL. Oh, it's a women's XL. Jeez, this thing's huge and it has a hood. What? Perfect for the season too, right? So my guess is this is going to cost me 6 or $7. But I think that's totally worth it. The new with tags just tipped it over the edge. Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen, here on YouTube. Welcome back for another Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. And guess what, friends? This is a good one. It was just an epic day at the bins. I had so much fun. I've gotten to know some other resellers there now, so it's really fun to shop with people and learn what they're reselling. Um, it was just a day where I was like, boom, 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 pretty easy to find stuff. So I've got some great brands in here that sell well on eBay and Poshmark. I have some interesting stuff. I have one major, major bolo. But first, let's talk about this shirt. One of my favorite viewers here on the channel said, Quemby, if you end up keeping that shirt from your haul, I'd love to see it on you. So here it is. This is actually Chico's, and I was gonna resell it, but I found a little flaw in it because it's such thin gauze material. It has like a little hole somewhere, but um, I was happy to keep it. I keep all the rejected stuff, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. Buckle up. Let's get going on this Holly Hall. Oh, okay, here we go. You guys, I got this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 
five days ago and it's been sitting in my garage waiting to share it with you and it's been so tempting to just say ah oh, let's just process this stuff but I wanted to share it with you guys so it's gonna be kind of a fun video for me because I can't remember what I bought five days ago at the bins this is a great brand vineyard vines two guys from the south collaborated on this brand it's kind of preppy this is a men's button down this is their little where's their little whaley whale there it is that's the logo there this is probably a 20 or 25 dollar flip so there we go i got this for myself here we go what a great way to start putting things in the quemby pile already <laughs> i was like this thing is so awesome super oversized um top this is just american eagle and you know what you guys this is a small which is absolutely crazy because it looks like an XL. I could probably sell this for $15 or something, but I want to keep this. Super oversized, comfy top there. Okay. This feels like cashmere. This is, I, okay, I'm filming this in the fall and I'm going crazy trying to get sweaters, blazers, jackets, jeans up cashmere sweaters. This is just charter club, but it's a size small and it's a hundred percent cashmere. I don't go out of my way looking for Charter Club, but I'll pick it up if it's something good. I usually get $35 or $40 for a sweater. This is that gorgeous um, teal blue. I'm not sure if it's coming across in my lighting, but that's what it is. Oh, I love this. This is J. Jill size medium. I love selling J. Jill. And this is just a really cute lightweight peasant style top and it's got smocking all that elastic around the neckline and lots of embroidery hmm hmm <laughs> i do need these tops for work you guys i do need tops for work <laughs> so bad this is i freaking love this brand i don't know where i have been i've been selling 12 years on ebay it's just in the last year or so that I've realized this brand is so good. Lauren Ralph Lauren. I just seem to sell so much of this stuff. Um, this is a plus size too, and it's a silk button down, a silk paisley Lauren Ralph Lauren button down. I mean, always do your own research, look it up yourself and see if you think it's going to sell for you. But um, I've been selling that stuff like crazy. This is Nike Dry Fit size 1X, okay? So it's a nice uh, full zip purple athletic jacket in a 1X. I feel as though there's like a shadow coming from somewhere on the items. Is it this little light right here? Is that better? No, I don't think that's it. Oh well, um, there's not big stains or dark spots on these items. I feel like there's something going on with my lighting. Oh my God, this is like such a fun item. I can't wait to share with you. Get ready, okay? If you're just listening because you're steaming, you might want to take a sec and look at the screen because this just might make your day. So this is, this is the brand Tipsy Elves. This is a youth medium. And uh, they make like ski snowboarding stuff. It's actually a pretty decent brand, but look at this. Tipsy elves. Oh my, is there something inside here? I think there is. <laughs> Let's figure out what it is. Probably like a sock or something. Or maybe it's the pocket. Might be. Anyway, that is so fun. It's definitely coming home with me. Keep trying to get out of here, but then they do another rotation, so I'm sort of stuck because I have to sort through. This is the cart situation. Pretty, pretty grim in terms of me having to now sort through here. Here we go. Where's my, where's my crazy cat, ladies? <laughs> this is a full one-piece kid's suit. Entirely covered in cats wearing hats. <laughs> okay, we could end the video here, right? We could just be like, well, that's good enough. Tell me in the comments, have you found anything lately that you want to share with us? Like, could be a fun find like that. It could be a bolo. When we say bolo, it's be on the lookout for. So it's an item that usually sells for like $35 or more or something that you can find. Have you found anything cool? This is a bolo brand, N Saison. Now this is what I see. 
And I'm like, that's interesting. Just an interesting gathered top. And then the tag is in some other, maybe French. So I looked it up. These tops are going for like 40 or $50. What's this right here? Oh no, is there like underarm stain? Ooh, there's some big stain on there. Shoot, shoot, shoot. How do I not notice this? I'll tell you how. It's dark as heck in the bins. That looks like maybe there's ar armpit stain and somebody tried to get it out. So that's a fail. But at least we learned a new brand to keep our eye out for. N Saison. Saison. I took like one year of French in high school. <laughs> this is a Victoria's Secret silk romper. So if it's just shorts like this, it's a romper. If it goes all the way down, it's a jumpsuit. Just a Victoria's Secret. I don't know, do I have to show you that tag? Everyone probably knows it. The best Victoria's Secret stuff to find is their vintage stuff with the gold label. But that's a cute little lightweight piece. This is a marmot vest, a women's size medium. Full zip puffer vest, perfect for right now really light this is a great brand life is good they they make clothing with great little sayings and it's an xl with a sunflower on it where is this light thing coming from you guys see it i see it in the camera like right across here it's putting a streak or a shadow on everything oh well we do the best we can we show up we do the best we can i want to get to something good I, I have so much bread and butter, of course, but then there's some amazing stuff. Here's a free people dress that one of the nice ladies at the bins gave me. She's like, yeah, you know, I don't list free people because there's just so much of it already out there. In other words, it's a saturated market, but it's my best selling brand. So I'm like, okay, this is an intimately free people dress in a size small. This is one of the many tags of free people intimately. This is a long maxi dress. With a crochet neckline? Can't believe she gave this to me. I can probably get $35 or $40 for this. All this nice detailing. It's tiered and then it has this inset of crochet. Thank you very much, lady. <laughs> this I got for style. I just think this is the coolest dress. It's by Tahari. I buy Tahari plus size their linen stuff but I don't buy a lot of Tahari. But this is a black shirt dress, okay? And then it has a drop waist and a pleated skirt. This is a very specific style. Roll tab sleeves. But with that pleated skirt, that would be so great. Now, now this is a good find. My bins is $3.49 a pound. That's expensive for a bins. So I'm careful with buying things like big jackets. My guess is this is, it's bulky, but it's not heavy. Maybe a pound and a half, two pounds. So that means seven bucks maybe. But look at this thing. Look at this. It's a gorgeous teal color. Does someone need a super heavy jacket? Cause I'm telling you this thing's awesome. All right. It's a fleece in a teal blue. The brand is Mountain Hardware. And then I found out it's new with tags for $150. It's really well made. It's very big. It's got a gorgeous color. So if you live like on the East Coast or somewhere where there's lots of snow, you need something warm. See in California, I might be able to wear something like that for a few hours in the morning, but then it gets really nice. I love this Madewell piece. I'm selective with Madewell. Not as selective when I'm at the bins. This says extra small, but this is definitely an oversized. I am in love with this. This is one of those like sweatshirt jackets in the color that's like a blue chambray, but it's made out of sweatshirt material. And it's buttoned down. It's kind of heavier weight. Maybe like a shacket, which is a combination of a jacket and a shirt, a shacket. <laughs> a shacket. This is more made well. How embarrassing. I just said I'm selective with it. These are cool though. Wait till you see these. Buttoning them for you. Relaxed mid length denim shorts. To me, that's like a mom style short by Madewell in a size, I think 28, 24. Whoops, that's really small. Oh well. 
It's a good style. Ooh, another Free People piece. This is a different tag. That little bar says Free People, and then this is their little size tag. This is a medium textured, slouchy, gorgeous turquoise color. Look at it with my rings. Yes! Slouchy sweatshirt. Nubby, oversized, slouchy sweatshirt. Mm, vile, but don't tell anyone. Okay, look at this gorgeousness. This is a long velvet. This is all velvet. Long velvet maxi skirt. And it has in the back sort of a pleat so that this is going to hang in such a gorgeous way. This is joie. Joie, which is a large. Joie is sold at Nordstrom and it's extremely expensive, but they also have like other lower lines that are sold at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. So, um, but a large velvet skirt. I don't see how this is a large and it seems like it might be a little challenging to walk in, but for like a formal occasion, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. This is a Def Leppard by Goody Two Sleeves medium large shirt. I usually sell these, I buy any of them. This isn't vintage, it's made to look vintage distressed. And I, I buy them and sell them for like $15. This is really embarrassing because this is another shirt that I wanted for me. I have no idea what the brand is, but it's sort of like a black acid, acid stone wash shirt. I hope it's nothing good so that I can hang on to it. I don't think it is anything. I don't even see a brand. So that's great. That's the perfect thing to keep. <laughs> Here's another vest. Obviously I'm picking these things up. This is the North Face. And it is a vest. Women's size medium. It's a puffer vest. And um, I just can't get over the fact that I can buy a North Face vest like this for for doesn't even weigh a pound, less than $3. I mean, these are so expensive at stores like REI. So I hope somebody, is there something in the pocket? That's the best. It's like, what is it gonna be? Wadded up tissues, a note, a shopping list, money. Let me know, have you ever found money in the pocket of something at the thrift store? I recently found $20. That's for my mom, a towel. Oh, I love this. Oh, these are for me again. Oh my God, this is the worst haul. I'm telling you guys, these are Live Love Lounge sleep pants. I'm like, this is the best haul. I found so many things and I have a pile of like 10 things for myself. That's it. I'm going to find something really good to show you guys. All right. Don't you worry. I have some really good things in here. Let's get to one. Oh, that's for PD. <laughs> Okay, these are some Lululemon leggings at the bins. Lululemon high rise. These are that silky feeling. They have different materials and it's really helpful to know what the different materials are because some people like, like I love Luon, L-U-O-N, because it's super thick and stretchy, it holds you in. Then the Lululemon has all these um, fabrics that are like called like barely clothed or almost naked where they're like <laughs> so silky feeling and light that it feels like you have nothing on which is I do not want to feel that way I want to feel like I have something on holding me in but so this is the size dot these are a newer piece because of the dot with all the little numbers around so these are an eight I'll put these little numbers into Google and find out what the style on these these are in excellent condition no pills nothing going on now do Lululemon leggings sell as well as they used to? Nope, they do not sell as well as they used to. But I'm sure I can still get like $30 for those. This is another free people top, black, long sleeve, oversized top with a floral print, gorgeous. Okay, does this ever happen to you? Finding Lululemon with the actual rip tag. These are designed to be ripped off so they don't drive you crazy right while you're working out so rare this is a cool one actually it's a crop top and then it has this opening at the neck kind of like a slit there but with the hang tag just so rarely happens here's my stuff i'm taking 
stuff I'm getting rid of. Navy Pile. This is one of those brands that retails so high. Club Monaco, so expensive. Takes forever to sell, in my experience. The men's, some of the men's shirts have done okay. Ooh, what's this, another Patagonia piece? All right. Okay, so I'm always talking to you guys about finding interesting tags. You and I are gonna learn about this one together. I have no idea what that says, but I will figure it out or Google lens it. This is a long linen type tunic. It feels like really good quality, and this I could probably list as some sort of art to wear log and wookie brand, so we'll figure this out. Hey friends, I'm here in my inventory area and I just received an order from Help See Source. This is a very informal little video. The lighting in here is not great. I'm not pulled together, but I could fix this a little. It's not a good look, but whatever. I'm just in my garage and I'm going to take photos in a minute, so I thought I would take a look. This is very expensive stuff from Help See Source. It's Lululemon. I'm filming this in um, October 2023, and they have wholesale boxes of Lululemon on the site right now. My guess is it'll sell out. It's pretty pricey. Um, this is just five Lululemon jackets and sweaters in a size 12. I don't remember the exact price I paid, so I'll put it up here. Always use a discount link if you shop on Helpsy Source. My discount link is The Grateful Queen. It's all capitals and it's all one word and it gives you a discount and I earn credit that I can use towards these things. Um, some of you were a little concerned about my recent Lululemon order in which I only paid $10 a piece for those Lululemon tops, but you guys, I have sold so much of that and most things are selling for $29 to $35 for a top, so I feel pretty confident in that box, but I was kind of hoping there'd be stuff in here for me. A lot of you are telling me the Lululemon on Help See Source is too expensive for resale. It might be, so a lot of people are just getting one for themselves because you can order by size. So let's take a look. A Lululemon puffer. A Lululemon puffer vest. It's in like a brown color. It's got a hood. It still has its rip tag. These are expensive, you guys. So I think I might have paid $20 or $25 an item. Size 12. This is meant to be torn right out. No one wants that when they're out. So the fact that that's still there is good. Am I going to try this on? Probably. Where's the Lulu logo on this? On a puffer vest. I don't see a big blingy Lululemon. Oh, it's on the hardware and then it's got that very very pleased about that um <clears throat> i think this is a scuba hoodie in a size 12 it is omg still has the hang tag i'm making a big deal out of this because it's very rare to find lululemon with the rip tag still in this is their classic scuba hoodie it's a thick it's a thick hoodie and they're usually quite fitted and they're very expensive okay so really happy with those items. This is another jacket. In case you happen to be new, here's the Lulu logo. You can find it in all sorts of places on the hardware. This, so this one's not as crazy because this is, oh, maybe this is the, I'll have to look up the style. It's a full zip black jacket. Sorry, the light in here is bad. Here's the size dot in the pocket. So it's probably like a 40 or $50 item. That puffer is amazing. Here's another one. I used to know all the names. Full zip. I just sold one of these. Is it the, no, it's not the dance. It might be the Define. I think it's the Define jacket. Gray striped with the big Lulu logo. Uh, it's so amazing to me to find these things because you know, they're like $168 sometimes new. I'm not seeing any flaw issues, I hope, with a five item bag. Oops. That um, they look them over pretty good for flaws because I think this is the dance studio, like the studio pants, black full zip. Sorry, the lighting in here is so bad, but you get the idea. So 
absolutely amazing. It's rare to find a Lululemon jacket. People love them. I think they keep them. So let me know if you've got this box and what you think. I just wanted to pop on real quick and show it to you. Oh, in a minute, we're probably going to get into the Patagonia. I've never found so many Patagonia items in one thrift trip. This is a brand I really like called Denim and Supply. It's a, bl a brand, a line of Ralph Lauren that they made in like the 80s and 90s that they don't make anymore. And they're, they all have interesting details. This is a flannel, like a women's flannel. It has some pleating in the back, has a nice round hem on it. I personally love that brand. This is the saddest, but I got it because I'm not leaving it there. This is Eileen Fisher, a great brand. I'll buy anything, any size, anything Eileen Fisher. It's hard to see that because it's um, printed right on, so it's a newer piece. This is a linen gray and white striped top, but it has a little hole on the hem, so I'm just gonna keep it and wear it around the house. Okay, here is a bunch of Patagonia. Oh no, I had it in the bag, so it looks wrinkly. This, this this is Patagonia. These are men's swim trunks, size 33. I don't know if these are, there's a, there's a Patagonia swim trunk. Maybe it's called the Baggies. That's like a bolo within the brand. So I'll have to look up the style on these. Super cute men's swim trunks. This is a Patagonia size XL, kind of base layer shirt. It has that, that um, silky feeling of like athletic wear clothing. And someone will like this because it's all logoed out. Like people like on Patagonia to see the label because people just love this label. This is a Patagonia, um, I guess like a polo shirt, organic cotton. This looks big. A men's organic striped cotton polo shirt. Thought I, I think I have some more Patagonia in here somewhere. Is this it? Oh yeah, some Patagonia sweatpants, jogger sweatpants. Who donates all this Patagonia? Patagonia is still so expensive. I know the resale market isn't as good as it used to be for the brand, but it's like, it's so expensive. Who's just donating it? Size large men's uh, jogger pants. They come down to an elastic ankle, so that makes them a jogger sweatpant. That's like four or five pieces of Patagonia. Now I'll pull out some Lulu. This is a really nice piece. Um, I got a Lululemon wholesale box from Helpsy Source. I opened it live here on the channel so you can look for that box. Um, and I have a couple more boxes of Lululemon coming from Helpsy Source. In that wholesale box, there were two crop tops like this. One was on a line and one was like their long sleeve scoop neck or something. Both of those sold within a week of being listed. So I feel confident in this piece, another Lululemon crop top. And my guess is I can get 25 to 30 plus shipping. This is a Columbia size large fleece. I'm thinking this is a men's because it seems kind of big. I'm picking up a lot of this stuff right now. As you can see, these athletic wear vests and jackets because it's going to start selling. Oh, I did it again. I came home with a piece of embroidered vintage linen. I think this is the only piece I got. So do I have any idea what I'm going to do with this? No, I'll probably put it in a little basket or something folded like this and I'll just have the embroidery sticking out and I'll enjoy it but it's not necessary because I have so much of that. It's crazy. <laughs> it's so bad, like I need to stop, but I love it. These are new with tag, Banana Republic shorts. Maybe someone's going on vacay and they need these little printed chino shorts, the three and a half short in a size 10. And the price tag says that these were $49.99. Is anyone really spending $49.99? On those, this is a brand that sells for me all the time in the largest sizes. It's hot cotton. Sometimes the tag will say hot cotton by Mark Ware. And I just sold for $19.99 a shirt like this, very similar. They're like a lag and look brand boho. This is a linen button down in a 1X made in the USA. That's just such a sure thing 
for me. What is this? Oh, this is Ex Officio. It's a 2XL. This is another outdoor fishing, hiking, camping brand. This is a nice big size and it is a button down. These are always like vented um, for people that do outdoorsy things. See all this? And that's a great size. So this I picked up because I thought it was just so nice. This is a Nike golf skirt. It's in such great shape. There's the little Nike swish and it's got the built-in shorts. So when you have the little skirt with the built-in shorts, it's called a skort, S-K-O-R-T. And people wear them for tennis and golf and that kind of thing. I can't take it anymore. I have a Johnny Was piece in here. Maybe it was one of the first. Where is it? It's freaking out. Oh, there it is. Okay, can I tell you? I don't understand the bins sometimes. I really don't. I'm shopping, uh, you know, it was in between a rotation, so I'm kind of wandering around looking through things. This was laid out on the far end of the the bins, and it was it was like this, just kind of laid out. And I'm like, God, you know I love anything with the embroidery. Check this out. A Johnny Was designed in Los Angeles, completely heavily embroidered top with a flare sleeve. Why was this sitting on the bin? That means somebody, people must have seen it. Are they just not interested? I mean, <laughs> just like, this is a $350 top. It's a size medium. So, <clears throat> now here's the dilemma. If you've watched my videos before, you know I'm a huge Johnny Was fan. I think of myself as a collector. I did sell two of my pieces over the summer that had gotten just a little too snug. <laughs> More on that some other time. Anyway, I'm, I'll try it on. Um, but do I keep it or do I sell it? Okay, friends, I'm interrupting the video. It's a little bit later in the day and I've tried this shirt on. I need your opinion. Um, I think it fits pretty nicely and it's really great for me for work because um, I'm a psychotherapist. I work with kids and families and I always cover my tattoos. That's just a choice I've made. I love it, you guys, but I feel bad because... This would be like a really good sale and this is a business for me. Um, but I don't think I can part with it yet if I'm honest. Let me know what you think. In case you're newer, you can usually sell a Johnny West top of this quality with all the really heavy embroidery for about $100, 75 to $100 very quickly. Like often if I have a good piece like this, it'll sell in 24 hours or less. If you have like a size XL Johnny Was, might sell in a few hours. So it's that type of bolo with a high sell through rate. So I'll try it on. This could be a little small for me. I will cry if I have to sell it, but I will know it'll go to a good home. Um, I love these jeans. Tie dye, button fly, straight leg jeans. These are by PacSun, which is kind of a young surf skate brand. I don't usually buy it. Uh, but these are so cool. Lovers come and go. Good jeans last forever. Why, thank you, PacSun, for that. The high rise straight in a 26. I, I love those. Somebody will want those. All right, what is this? Ooh, this is nice. This is a Prana, another REI outdoorsy kind of brand. Here's their little logo. And this is another, what I would say, almost like a shacket. It's a men's size large. It's a heavy weight button down. Heavy weight. It just feels so nice. Long sleeve beige. In my title, I'll put yoga, hiking, outdoor. So when I list this, I'll put Prana large men's shirt, 100% organic cotton button down. And then I'll use all my fun keywords like outdoor, yoga, hiking because that's the people who wear this sort of thing and that's a really nice one a really nice one. Oh, let me show you these linens um i have done very well buying linens from the bins so linens are things like sheets 
duvet covers. I also will buy pillowcases. Found a couple Pendleton pillowcases that sold really well. In one of my recent bins haul, you saw me pick up um, some linen sheets and a linen duvet cover. They were by the brand Brook Linen. I sold the duvet cover for $79 plus $13.49 shipping, and I sold the sheets for $75 plus shipping. That's $150 from some linen, so I think it's worth looking things up. This is another linen gorgeous duvet. Um, they have like a blanket price, and I have the matching pillowcases. If you don't know, a duvet, this is the thing that you put over a comforter and button in place. So what I'm doing now is looking for the name brand, which I Googled while I was there. I shouldn't make you sit through this. Maybe it'll be easier to find inside the pillowcase. Let's see. Here it is. This is an excellent condition. I spread it all out at the bins, and it's by The Company Store the company store and it says something about the fabric so i think this is a really pretty uh color combination and a really nice high quality piece okay these are nike shorts and they're a size small running shorts is that right oh no these are a different pair <laughs> start over these are Patagonia men's shorts. These are great. They have the built-in brief. These are a men's. I think they're a size small. Look at all these tags. Were these even worn? Because you would cut these tags out, right? Anyway. Okay, this is definitely a Bolo brand. I don't know about this piece in particular, and I've never found it. I don't know how to say this. Zyrena. Memorize that tag. I've seen it like in everybody else's hauls. It's been on my bolo list. This is a white gauzy pullover top in a size small. So I can at least cross the brand off my list. Okay, it's just this kind of day for me, guys. So, so grateful. Boom. 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 This is a pile of stuff I'm putting back. To be honest, I didn't even look up these men's snow pants just because I don't want to deal with them. That's the honest truth. AK, these are Burton. Ugh, I feel guilty because they're probably worth something. But I don't like listing stuff like that, okay? <laughs> these are just some things that felt good but turned out not to be any brand. So nothing in here to... These are mostly no brand stuff, okay? Nothing too teachable in there. Oh my god, there's more Patagonia! I found more than I remember. This is a men's medium Patagonia logo olive green t-shirt. Yes. This dress is so gorgeous. This is vintage, I believe. Um, oh, Susanna, New York. I was just drawn to it, of course, because of all the vintage lace crochet. Look at this. Absolutely stunning covered buttons midi dress it's lined and it's all just so romantic boho romantic vintage good keywords on that baby this is a long haul thank you so much for staying with me we still have like a half an ikea bag left so let's just keep at it this is rei co-op in my opinion in my experience when it says rei co-op that's a newer line and that has been selling great for me these are shorts and they are a 3X. So I thought someone might be looking for these. They have like an adjustable waist. They're that kind of stretchy nylon cargo outdoor hiking shorts. This is an Athleta, Athleta dress. Athleta dress, <laughs> this is a little bit of an older tag. Athleta size small cute print, pink floral athletic dress these are the nike shorts these are a size small these look amazing but there were two of the exact same pair one in green and one in black so i got them because i thought i can lot these up they're the same size and the exact same style because just a pair of nike dry fit size small shorts i just don't think i can sell those very easily it's a very competitive oversaturated market um, but I think for two pairs, same size and style, I might do better. Now, this is a research piece. 
Maybe one of you in my wildest dreams have any idea what this says. I'm going to hold this tag up. I bought this to research. I think it's probably something good, but I have no idea what that says, but that's often a good indicator of a cool brand. This is a linen tunic. Great style, great color, great fabric. So I'm guessing it could be something. Now it could be that I can't recognize this tag and I'm stuck and I wasted my $3, but it says 100% linen, fabric from Italy, made in the USA. Ooh, there is an RN number, so that might really help me out. I don't like to take the time to do this, but you can use RN lookup on Google and put in the RN and it'll come up with the company that makes that. Sometimes I have to then take an extra step and, say, and look up the company that makes it in order to get the brand, but you can find the brand often with the RN. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this Bolo Bolo. My first time saying it, I think it's pronounced Zyrena. So look at this tag if you're just listening because this is a Bolo brand. Oh, it's a white gauze top. And honestly, when I checked comps, just these simple gauze uh, solid color tops are going for like $45. So if you find a dress or one of their colorfully printed things, you're going to be in good shape. What is this? Oh, this is carbon to cobalt. They make cool men's stuff. I haven't found this in a long time. I hope it's still good. Probably haven't found this in a year or so. Carbon to cobalt. This stuff was selling great for me in the past. Men's long sleeve color block. I wonder how the brand's doing now. Let me know if you've sold it recently. This haul is huge and long. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for staying with me. I appreciate you. This is, I think it's a vintage size XL 100% silk button down top. 100% silk. Uh, let's see, the buttons are on the right, so it's a men's shirt. A men's black 100% silk button down shirt. I love this. This is Lucky Brand size large. Lucky Brand has been selling for me pretty good again. Black, floral, semi sheer, boho top. Um, Lucky Brand, especially the plus sizes, I can get like $29.99 for a beautiful Lucky Brand plus size peasant top. This is Chico's Travelers. I've been picking this up the entire time I've resold. This is a size 2, which is a large, and it's that slinky spandex acetate. Cool print on this one. I haven't seen this particular one. These are great for travel because they're non-iron, and once you learn the way this fabric feels, that slinky, stretchy acetate, you'll be able to find that your whole life. This is a Zara piece, and I'm very picky with Zara, but this just looks like what you would wear to an 80s party. And right now, 80s, 90s, Y2K, 2000s is so popular. This is a crop top. It's just so on trend, I thought someone might want it. But be careful picking up Zara because it's kind of fast fashion-y. This is gorgeous. It's a Columbia XXL, so 2XL fleece. I mean, this these things are gorgeous. I can't believe these are at the bins. Like, the condition on this is excellent. Super soft and fluffy. I wish these Columbia fleeces went for more money, but honestly, I can probably only get like 25 for this, but people will be looking for these this time of year now. Oh my God, I see more Patagonia down there. We can just call this the Patagonia haul. <laughs> this is American Eagle Doll Outfitters. I've told you that I've got to slow down picking up American Eagle Outfitters. But when I did a little bit of research some months back, I googled the solds in American Eagle Outfitters and I looked through and I'm like, what's actually selling in this brand? Because I'm not selling a lot of my stuff. And the flannels, they're plaid flannels, you can still get $20 or $25 for. So that's what I'm looking for now in the brand. This is a medium and this is a women's. And this one has pearl snaps, it's really cute, but keep your eye out for that. How fitting for this all haul that I'm ending with another Patagonia piece. Patagonia size, large, silky, silky outdoor shirt, okay? 
that's like what six pieces of patagonia maybe more and a johnny was and some great bread and butter i am so thrilled i'm so grateful not every day at the bins is this good i know not every not every one of you has a bin so it's kind of fun to see i do think it's worth traveling to a bins taking a little road trip making a weekend of it because my total was something like what was it 120 and it's like an insane amount of clothes to get for 120 so i think it's worth traveling if you don't have one but let me know what you found that you're excited about thanks for being here i appreciate you and i can't wait to talk in the comments bye friends okay you guys it's 8 48 and i'm not at the bins yet my goal is to get there at 8 45 15 minutes before they open so i can stand on the line and wait <laughs> I'm just watching the psychology of a Quenby like, oh, you're late, Quenby. It's probably annoying listening to that blinker sound, so I'll shut it off for you. You're late, Quenby. If you're not early, you're late. My friend Heidi calls it aggressively punctual. I believe that's what she called it. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. I get it. <laughs> okay. Watch out, friends. I just had a pumpkin spice latte, so this video is going to be fast and crazy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. You guys are so nice to put up with me. Ooh, the sun just came out. How lovely. <laughs> this is so bad. I mean, this is one of those like, what do they call it? Lines of clothing that can take you from day to evening. So like career women can wear their dress to work and then add some heels and jewelry and a nice purse and it, it goes from day to evening. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about, but this would fit into the category of day to evening, all right? Now, I happened into somebody's entire, like maybe, maybe it's not the same person. What am I trying to say? Oh, because, oh, oh no, I brought my water bottle over, I thought, but where did I put it? Is it buried by all these clothes? Wendy. Do better, Quimby. Where'd it go? I don't know where it went. I have to get another one. <clears throat> Found it. And then I will put all the other things, of course. Yeah, that's really helpful to people, Quimby. All the other things. Um, I recently sold. God, there's so much to say. I have so many words to say. I blame the pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> yeah. Okay.